Hi, this is Anthony with Revzilla TV, and welcome to our breakdown of the brand new for fall 2010 Alpine Stars Tech 1R leather racing jacket. Basically, this jacket is designed as the successor to the MX1 jacket from Alpine Stars, which was one of their most high end, basically track ready jackets they've ever produced. This is going to be the upgrade from that jacket. This is actually, without going to race replica level, this is going to be the highest the highest level jacket in Alpine Stars lineup um, as soon as this currently comes out, which is a fall 2010. Basically, you're already, what you're going to see is the top half of a two-piece suit. Throw a pair of track pants on with this guy, throw a pair of Apex pants with some sliders, and full 360 zip, you're ready to go on the track. This suit is built to allow somebody on a that seriously is a sport bike rider, that rides very aggressively, or that likes the flexibility of a two-piece suit, be able to home in on that and, and go from there. So basically what you're going to see is, and I know a lot of people thinking in the Northeast, they think first thing is perforation. What's the exterior of this coat going to be made of? Basically it's 1.2, 1.4 cowhide throughout, but tons of perforation. Come in here tight. You have shoulder perf. You have perf across the logo. You have temper foam injected panels that are also perforated, perforated down the belly. You have additional areas for perforation as well on the sleeves, and that's a great lead into these stretch panels on the inside of each arm, as well as comfort. And, and the ability to really have a broad range of folks sizes, you know, different size arms fit into this coat. These panels are strong, but they also flow some air as well. So great ability for long distance track riding, long distance sport riding in hotter climates. You get some great airflow from these guys as well. Moving on to other race level features that are on this coat. The next thing I'm going to get into is the armor. This is suit level armor. This is the same armor that Alpine Stars uses in its suits. So it's going to have high end, external, turn to the side for me here, I want to show close up externally molded TPU armor sliders on the shoulders. You have the CE, upgraded CE armor inside. This is proprietary to Alpine Stars. Notice as we move down to the elbow here, you're gonna have elbow forearm. This is not even their upgraded bio armor. This is a step above. Like I said, it's a top half of a two-piece suit. This is the big boy armor that you would see the same armor in the race replica suit. This is, they spared no expense on the protection elements of this suit. It's a great segue, keep turning for me to the back of this coat from protection here. Take a step towards me a little bit. You're going to see more temper foam that is perforated for comfort. You have a uh, dual density perforated um, GP style hump on the back here. Also notice great articulation. Back of the elbow, back of the shoulder, lift this arm up for me. Full articulation, elasticated panels down under the arm. This is in areas that you need to have stretch when you're on a bike, in a crouch, in a tuck, long distance sport riding. These are areas where the suit is going to stretch and pull if you're actively moving around the bike. Having these areas is going to keep your fatigue down, it's going to keep you more comfortable, and everybody knows, especially in extreme riding conditions, the more comfortable you are, the less distracted you are, the more you can focus on the task at hand, which is navigating the course. As you scroll down here, big Alpine Stars logo, it's actually, it's actually sewn on in two different layers. It's just kind of the style upgrades, it's the details. This coat's 649, it's not an entry level coat. So when you get into that level, there's a lot of small details which just make it a beautiful coat. The top of the hump is going to be perforated, it's going to be drilled, it's going to flow air to the back of this guy. Chris, turn, turn back around for me. I want to talk about certain things that are that you see standard in a lot of the Alpine Star stuff. You're going to have all YKK zippers, and you have these great locking cuff zippers. So the cuff on this guy, when the zipper's in that position, I can pull all I want. It's not going to come undone. When I flip it forward, it becomes open, and now I have the ability to open the cuff. Notice the inside of the cuff. It's lined with this wicking material for comfort. It's meant to go over a full gauntlet. You have the extended um, wind blocking that goes all the way down and lines the inside of the zipper. This, this coat is really just very, very thoughtful. The guts of this coat are going to be mesh. It's built for hot weather riding conditions, but depending on your build, you can slide some type of liner that you have on your own or, or base level underwear underneath this coat. So from here, we go into two major upgrades on the Tech 1R jacket. The first is going to be this 3D style liner which actually plays really, really well with the perforation scheme. What a lot of manufacturers that are, that are really forward thinking are starting to do now, what they've tested, developed, and researched is that when you have a liner on a coat that creates even a small amount of space between that liner and your body via mesh and creates almost small air pockets, what it does is it does a great job of either insulating you or keeping you cool based on what the outside temperature is. You have the best chance 
for having a microclimate acclimated to your body inside the coat based on having this 3D liner versus just a regular flat mesh liner. And of course it's in the areas that are going to be in the tightest contact with your skin, which a lot of times is across the back and in the shoulders. Notice this guy comes with foam padding which is upgradable, the slots down here along the bottom to upgrade to an either an RC1 uh, back protector. But the other nice part is that being that this is, a, this is an example of the top half of a two piece suit. Alpine Stars makes a Bionic Race CE2 back protector that comes with a waist strap and then at the top of the back protector has a snap, multi-position snaps just like in the race suits that they do where if you have that race level back protector you don't need to fiddle with putting an RC1 in this guy, you just take the temper foam out and you can actually get more bang for the buck out of your race back protector by snapping it in and then just fastening the uh, waist belt. Sizing on this guy, I wear a 52. I'm five foot nine, 175, but I have really broad shoulders. If I wasn't as broad, I'd wear a 50. Chris, who was just here with me, is six foot four, and he's also 190 pounds. So he's a tall, thin guy, but if you remember watching the video, the sleeves actually came down very far. They're long arms on this guy. They're meant to be in extreme position. He actually got great coverage to the wrist. So I would rate this coat as having longer than average arms uh, able to accommodate a tall thin person versus having that short arm effect. So pricing on this Tech 1R is actually going to be $649. It's going to come in four colors. This is the white with bread. It's going to come in white with blue. It's going to come in white with black. And then it's also coming in black with white. And the black with white will go up to size 64. If you have any questions about the Tech 1R, Give us a shout, 877-792-9455 or see us at RevZilla.com. Once again, this guy is a replacement for the MX-1. This is their most high-end, non-replica race jacket that's the top half of a full-piece suit or two-piece suit. As always, it's over 39 bucks. It's going to ship for free. If you get the wrong size, we'll size exchange it for free for you as well. And on something like this, you're going to earn up to $30 back in TeamZilla Cash as a rebate applied to your next order. I'm Anthony. Give us a shout. You can find this at RevZilla.com slash AlpineStars. Thanks for watching RevZilla TV today. We'll, we'll see you next time.